This is a tutorial for the 3D soccer jersey and shorts available on my Etsy store. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and this file is available for Procreate and Blender, but this tutorial will be for Blender. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is download the file. Um, then after that, if you've never used Blender before, then we go to blender.org and go to download. Download the software, which is free for everyone to use. Once it's downloaded, we'll open it up and you'll be greeted with this screen. Then we'll locate our file, which is Soccer Kit Studio Setup dot blend. We'll drag and drop it in and you'll be greeted with the screen. So first thing we're going to do is change this to viewport shader so we can see the material that is being projected onto the 3D model. So right now it's a preloaded texture um, and we can change the angle by going down to the time alignment at the bottom and just dragging it across. What we can do eventually is once we've got our design on, we can take uh, still images by just turning it to, the, to where we want it to be. If we want to preview the animation, we can also press play down here, which will give us a quick idea of how the, the 360 rotation will look um, as just a quick example. First thing we're going to do is go to the UV editing. At the top here, we're going to click on that. We're going to press tab. And this shows us our uh, textures for the model. To change this, we're going to have to do that in Photoshop. So uh, in the file you downloaded, there is two UV files, which is basically for your textures. You've got the one that I've made here for the tutorial. And you also have a blank canvas, which is a Photoshop file. We're going to open that up in Photoshop. And you'll get this. So to go through the layers, we've got the folds and the, the shadows, which gives it just a little bit more realism. We can turn, toggle that on and off. We've also got the layer to add your design. We've got the UV layout and we have the background color. So just to give you a quick example, I'm going to make a quick UV for the tutorial. So I'm just going to add this to my layer. I'm going to give it a blue color. Then I'm going to find the Manchester City logo and I'm going to drag and drop that in. Oops. Let's find one without a background. Uh -huh. So I can do it like this. I'm just going to scale it down and do that. Just position it in the right area. I'm going to copy it and paste it onto the shorts. And then I'm going to save as export as a quick PNG. So I'm just going to call this one MC at the back. And I am going to save this in the same folder so it's easy to find. So we're going to hop back to Blender and we're going to click on this folder icon. And we're going to find the new textures. I'm going to open it up. You can see it's changed here, but it hasn't changed here. So what we need to do is update this by clicking on the 3D model, making sure we have the materials tab open, going to base color, clicking this little arrow, then clicking this icon and just changing it here. So now it's updated the textures. We'll go back to layout and we'll just have a quick look at that. Cool. The next thing we're going to do is um, change the background color. So to change the background color, we're going to change it to, uh, let's say, black. So right now, uh, what we've had to do is click on the background itself. You can see it has background here. We're going to change the base color to black. As you can see, it hasn't changed. It's because we have emission on down here. So if we change the emission from white, to black, then we'll have a black, back, black background. We can change that to any color we want. We can have it green or purple. I'm going to stick with black. Okay, cool. 
Um, if we want to, we can also look into changing the, uh, the lighting. So to select the lighting, you can click on these here, or you can go to th this menu here and you have the key light, you have another light, and you have a fill light, and another fill light. So the key light is the main light. If we want to increase the strength, we can just change the power. I'm going to increase it to 50. As you can see, it hasn't changed it here. It's because we have uh, the uh, materials preview, but if we change it to render, and we have a little bit more of a, of a better idea of how, how it's going to look. Cool. Uh, let's see. We can bring that down. It's on a thousand watts right now. Let's change it to 70, see what happens. Kind of gives it a little bit of a, a little bit more depth and shadow on the top here. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, okay, I think that is pretty much ready. So what we're going to do now is look in how to render this. So the render settings are up here. We're on EV. We can change this to cycles if we want to have a little bit more quality in the, the render. But it's uh, EV is probably the better one for most people to use because it's just faster. The next thing we're going to do is look at the res resolution, which is the same as an Instagram post, 1080 by 1920. We can change this to whatever pixel size we want. And we're also going to um, make sure that we have this saved in a place we can find it. So I'm going to save it in the same folder and press accept. To, rent, to take an image, we just press render image at the top here. takes a second to load and we get our render. I can see the shadows are quite quite like not looking so great so I think that if you want you can just change those in the Photoshop settings and get something that's a little bit more uh, tailored to what you're what you're after. You can also just remove them if you want to as well. For making a animation this is where it's important to make sure you have the right folder saved. You can see we have 250 frames here. So if we want to make the animation, then we go to render, render animation, and now it will start rendering frame for frame, so 250 frames, uh, until it makes a final uh, animation, which will be a 360 degree uh, rotation animation for Instagram in this case, but you can change the, the dimension so it can fit for maybe a YouTube video or for an A4 piece of paper if you're presenting it in a meeting or at university or whatever you like. You can see it takes time, so if you're doing an animation make sure that you just uh, you give some time for it to, to, to load through, go make yourself a coffee or just uh, relax for a little bit while it's getting on with that. And I will show you the final result once it's finished. So this is the results. That took around 20 minutes to render. Wraps it up for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.